Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to explore two AI softwares. First one being Pictory AI, and we're going to compare it to InVideo, and we're going to see which one is the better one. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're going to start out in Pictory, and as you can see over here, everything is laid out quite nicely. You have four options in terms of creating video in Pictory. As you can see, we have the script to video, article to video, edit video using text, which I think is a great feature. And then we have the visuals to video, which you can use your own visuals to create a video with. What we're going to be doing here is comparing the script to video with the in video script to video. So over here, we're going to tap on proceed. And from here, we can now enter our script. So of course, we're going to click over here. I've got a script prepared and we can also go ahead and type in a name for the script. So once you have your name and your script, you can actually break your script down a little bit so that it's easier to read over each scene. So as you can see, um, we can break this up like this perhaps and you can put line breaks in as well. So let's just go ahead and break this up. So as you can see, this will allow each one of these sentences to become its own scene. So which means the scenes will actually change quite quickly, which will keep engagement. Also, we can go to the left hand side and we can actually help um, the AI find better visuals by highlighting certain words and helping the AI understand what it is we're talking about here. So for example, um, if we highlight gorilla, we can just tap on highlight and it's highlighted gorilla. You can also go down and start highlighting words that will allow the AI to better understand what your need is. On the top right hand side, we have some scene settings. We have the auto highlight keywords, which you can use, but because I've highlighted my own keywords, I'm going to take that off. You can also use auto visual selection, which is the reason we're actually here. And you can create new scenes on either sentence breaks, line breaks, or both. Now I'm going to keep it as both because what you want to do is you want to create dynamic. Once we're done, we're going to go ahead and tap on proceed on the top right hand side, and it'll take a few minutes to actually create this video and look for the visuals. So as you can see, this script has now been converted into a video. On the left hand side, you can see you have your menu again, which is easily displayed and user friendly. We have our storyboard over here on the left hand side. And then to the far right, you have your video preview, which is each one of your scenes, including its visuals as well as the text. Now this is relatively easy to go ahead and actually edit. All you need to do is tap on the text. If you want to edit the text, you can change everything from the font style, color, alignment, as well as the actual text that is being used in there. But once you're done, you can just click away and you can do this throughout every one of these scenes. Now, let's say that you have something like, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to shave a gorilla's chest hair. And obviously you can see that this visual is incorrect. So on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on visuals and you can actually just replace this visual with something else. So you can either go ahead and you can search an image like this. So you can say gorilla and you can now go ahead and choose an appropriate video to replace your current video with. As you can also see, each video has a duration and what you can actually do is cut that duration down. So let's say we're going to add the scene in over here and what we're going to do is then use this trim video key and we can actually trim that video down because in 14 seconds you can say a lot more than what's in this part of the script. Once we are done there, you can go ahead, you can explore the backgrounds, you can also upload your own video and image content. And then you have your audio library where you can use background music, you can create your own voiceovers using an AI voice, and then you can also upload your own voice over if you like to voice over your own videos. We also then have a bunch of different styles, texts and branding kits and a bunch of other elements that we can change. And again, we can also change the format of the video. So there's lots of things that we can actually do here and it's relatively easy to do. It also doesn't give you too many options in terms of downloading your video 
and choosing different resolutions and so forth. So it's one resolution and it's very simple. It's easy to use and I like it a lot. Looking at NVIDIA, we're going to go to the AI text to video, which is the second option. And again, all you need to do is go ahead and choose a template that you would like to use. Now, let's just say, for example, we're going to choose this random template over here. And once you've actually selected the template, you need to change your aspect ratio on the right hand side. So we're just going to say use template over here and we're going to go ahead and we can write a script. Now we can either write our own script or we can ask AI to write a script for us. This is one feature that Pictory AI does not have. So how to shave a gorilla's chest hair and all you need to do is tap on generate and it'll generate a script for us. You can see now that we have a script and it doesn't really give you many options in terms of breaking it down or highlighting keywords. But if you're going to go ahead now and tap on create scenes, it'll create your video. On the left hand side, you can see again, you've got your scenes or part of your script broken up into pieces and you have the main part of your video. Again, on the left hand side, you have all of your tools. From here, you can go ahead and upload your own media. Um, you can also go to videos and use their stock video footage. So if you go in here and uh, you can actually just replace your current video with any one of these videos. Now, again, the content that is in here is actually not relevant to gorillas. So to put in gorilla into the search bar, um, we can now go ahead and search for videos with gorilla content in it. Again, we can go ahead and just drag and drop onto the drag and drop media area and this will replace this specific scene with that video. Again, you can do the same with images. You can also go down and you can see that there are music templates as well as text templates. You can go in and you can add music, you can add sound effects, you can also add voiceovers from here. So having a look at these two, they're pretty much the same. They have one or two things that the other doesn't. And when choosing which one to use and which one is actually better, you need to have a look at what your needs are and which one for you works better. Personally, I like Pictory. It makes me feel like I'm more in control just for the simple fact that I first had to create a script and then created my storyboard. Whereas within video, I first chose a template and then I started with my script, which kind of made me feel like I was working backwards because now I have to redo my entire video or all of my visuals. So what do you folks think? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with a friend and we'll see you next time. Happy creating.